Hey, it's Chet. I'm out here today on the back side of Santa Cruz Island with my brother-in-law, Scott Summersgill. We're going to sit here. We're going to work all this surge. It's such a beautiful day. We had an amazing sunrise this morning, and we're going to kick some calico bass. So, uh, Scott fishes with the saltwater bass anglers on their tour and uh, lots of tournaments, and he fishes with his pal Larry, and they do quite well every year. So I thought it might be kind of neat if uh, Scott were to just give a couple little tips on uh, how he fishes these kind of conditions. Yeah, so when I'm casting into the boilers, what I like to do is, uh, you know, I'll cast into the whitewash where the, uh, the waves are surging over the rocks, you know, knocking loose any kind of forage that the fish might be actively feeding on. And uh, you know, almost as soon as that bait hits the water, I'm putting the reel in gear. And it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse in that, uh, you know, you want to maintain you know, relatively close contact with the, with the bottom, but at the same time, you know, not getting snagged every 30 seconds. So, it um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but, uh, you know, once I put that reel in gear, I'll put the rod tip at a 30 to 45 degree angle, and basically I'll um, maintain kind of a slow, steady retrieve with some stops and goes mixed in, uh, and try and work in that bait, you know, down the rock or down the shelf. Uh, and then once you get off the boilers a little bit into deeper water, I'll sink it out and fish any hard bottom that might be around there or any kelp strands. Oh, nice fish, nice fish. Target species. Right on. Beautiful, Five beautiful. and a half inch calico hunter. Beautiful. Let's go. On again, here we go. Nice. Four bait swim jig, big hammer swim bait. Santa Cruz Calico. Yeah, so what we've got here is a four inch uh, big hammer swim bait. This is the uh, Christmas tree color, which is a real good color for the types of conditions we're fishing right now where we've got uh, a little bit of slack conditions, pretty clean, clear water. What we're going to do is we're going to rig it on a uh, three-quarter ounce uh, lead head. This is a, a hammer head, and it's got a four-aught hook. So what I do when I rig these is I'm, I'm kind of anal about it. I uh, always try and mark where that hook's going to come out. So I think it's really important that when you're rigging these that you get your hook on nice and straight and you don't have any bends or kinks in your swim bait because it's a swim real good. So what you're going to do is you're just going to thread that on there so it ultimately you end up with something like that. Woo! It's a toe! Oh my god! Bring up the sun, Scotty. Wow, hold that thing up. Holy smokes! There you go. What'd you catch that on? Caught that on a swim jig. Let's see. A little over five pounds. Beauty. Santa Cruz Island, baby. Nice. <laughs> Southern California is home to some of the world's most beautiful coastline. And amongst the rocks, kelp and surge, you can find a special type of angler who specifically targets the calico bass. For those of us who love the species, most of us all practice catch and release. After all, the only thing that's better than getting slammed by one of these awesome kelp monsters is throwing them back in the hopes that you'll meet again someday. So until next time, this is Chet Froelich, the Urban Redneck Outdoors, saying good fishing and God bless.